Okay mga kawaw mat, in this video, we will solve systems of linear equations in two variables by elimination method. So our objectives, we will solve systems of linear equations in two variables by elimination method and we will apply the substitution principle to check whether the answer or answers is or correct. Okay? So, let us recall first how to graph systems of linear equations. So, if I have here 2x plus 4y equals 6 and 4x plus y is equal to 8, this will be our first equation and this is our second equation. Now, in graphing systems of linear equations, you need to um, choose whether you're going to use um, intercept method or the slope intercept method. So, uh, actually, hindi na natin to i-discuss ng matagal kasi nasa ano ito, nasa isang video tutorial po ito bago po itong lesson na to. So, pwede nyo pong panoorin muna yung pag-graph ng systems of linear equations bago po ito. Okay? So, I will be using the intercept method for us to graph the given system. Okay, so our first equation is 2x plus 4y equals 6. So, kapag nagsasolve tayo using the intercept method, ililet natin yung y as 0 and then para makuha natin yung x-intercept. Kapag uh, y-intercept naman ang kinukuha natin, yung x naman ang ililet natin as 0. Okay, so since x-intercept muna ang kukunin natin, then we will let y is equal to 0. So again, this will be cancelled. So we now have 2x is equal to 6 and that is x is equal to 3. Okay, so kung ipaplat natin siya, that is 3, 0. This is the ordered pair. Okay, bakit 3, 0? Kasi ito po ay x-intercept. So therefore, sa x-coordinate mo siya ilalagay. Okay. And then, let us find the value of y-intercept. So, kung y-intercept naman ang kinukuha natin, therefore, yung x naman natin ang 0. So, this will be cancelled. Ang makukuha mo dyan is 4y is equal to 6. And then, 6 divided by 4. Okay? Kasi magiging 4y is equal to 6 siya. So, 6 over 4 siya. Bakit? Divide both sides by 4 yan. And 6 divided 4 is equal to 3 over 2. So, ilolowest term pa natin ito, which is 3 over 2. So, our point is, our y-intercept is six, uh, 3 over 2. So, kapag pinlat natin siya, we will have 0, 3 over 2. Okay, let us plot the points. So, we will plot 3, 0. Ito po siya. So, do not forget to label your point. And then, 0, 3 over 2. Actually, 3 over 2 is equivalent to 1.5. Okay? And 1.5 is isat kalahate. Okay? So, dito siya. Okay? And then, connect the points and graph. Ayan. So, this is the graph of your first equation, 2x plus 4y equals 6. Okay? Let's proceed to the second equation. So, your second equation is 4x plus y is equal to 8. So, ganun ulit, para makuha natin sa si x-intercept, we will let y is equal to 0. So, we will have 4x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 2. Okay? Bakit 2? Divide both sides by 4. So, if we will be plotting this point, that is 2, 0. Okay? Let us first, uh, let us now find the value of y-intercept. So, y-intercept, we will let x is equal to 0. So, ayan po siya. Makakancel po na, na po natin ito. So, we now have y is equal to 8. So, if we will be plotting this, that is 0, 8. Okay, let us plot the points. So, 2, 0. Dito siya. And then, 0, 8. So, ito po. Lumampas na tayo sa Cartesian plane. Okay, ayan si 0, 8. And then, connect the points and graph. So, this is the graph of 4x plus y is equal to 8. Now, so, what is the intersection of the two equations? So, ito po. So, this is the point of intersection. So, therefore, if this is the point of intersection, and as you can see, we only have one point. We only have one intersection. So, therefore, it has one solution. So, this is how we get the solution 
of uh, systems of linear equations by graphing. So, kung by graphing ang gagawin mo, ganito po siya. So, i-graph mo si first equation, i-graph mo si second equation, and then yung intersection, that is the solution. So, as you can see, we have one solution. But, if we will be, if we're going to identify or determine the ordered pair or the solution of the given system o yung intersection nila, ito po yung intersection. Kung kukunin natin ang ordered pair na to, parang hindi, parang mahirap. Bakit? Kasi po, hindi siya sakto. Ba, paano hindi sakto? Wala siya dito. Kung nandito ang, ang intersection mo, madali lang. This is 4, 4. This is 5, 4. But as you can see, the point of intersection is a non-integer. Paano ko nasabing non-integer? Kasi wala siya dito sa mga intersection. Okay? So, ibig sabihin non-integer siya. Pwedeng fraction siya or decimal. Okay? So, ang hirap nating makuha ang uh, solution kapag nag-graph tayo. So, actually, that is one of the disadvantages of using graphing kapag nagsasolve tayo ng systems. So, isa sa mga disadvantage ng graphing ay yung uh, paano kung hindi, non kung hindi integer ang iyong solution. So, mahirap siya. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-assume dyan. Okay, na ito ay 1.8, ito ay uh, 0. Point, hindi pwede. Okay? So, that's why, since hindi nga po integer ang ating solution, mahirap siya, meron pa tayong dalawang ways on how to solve systems of linear equations. At, i-discuss natin sa video tutorial na ito ang isa sa mga paraan ng pag-solve ng systems of linear equations. Ano ito? Using elimination method. So, what are the steps in solving systems of linear equations by elimination method? Of course, ang dapat nyo munang tandaan, dapat nasa same form po sila. Okay? So, dapat pareho munang nasa same form ang iyong system. Dapat yung dalawang equation mo nasa parehong form. Dapat pareho siyang naka-standard form. Okay? Kasi hindi, we cannot eliminate. You cannot eliminate kung hindi siya nasa parehong form. Okay? So, dapat po, nakaparehong form mo na siya. Okay? So, what are the steps in solving systems by elimination method? So, from the word elimination, we have to eliminate. Meron tayong kailangang matanggal. Okay? So, first step, decide which variable you want to eliminate. So, unang mong gagawin, it's up to you. So, it's your, ano no, um, it's your choice. Kung anong gusto mong variable na i-eliminate o tatanggalin. Okay? Kung ano yung may iwan, yun yung unang variable na masusolve mo. Okay? And then, second step, multiply one or both equations by the appropriate constants so that the variable that you want to eliminate becomes additive inverses of each other. Now, halimbawa may napili ka na at meron pong uh, meron po doon na um, additive inverse. Pag sinabi nating additive inverse, ito yung pareho sila ng coefficient pero magkaiba ng sign. Okay. So para makapag-eliminate tayo, you need to have the additive inverse. Pag wala kang additive inverse, ito po yung gagawin natin. Multiply, not divide, multiply po. Okay? So, para makapag-eliminate, dapat meron kang additive inverse. And then, uh, step 3, kung meron ka nang nakitang additive inverse, meron kang may eliminate, then proceed to the third step, which is add the resulting equations. And then, step 4, solve the equation obtained in step 3. So, itong isosolve natin is we will be getting now the value of the first variable. And then, step 5, substitute the value of the variable obtained in step 4 into one of the original equations and solve for the other variable. So, pag nakuha mo na dito sa step 4 yung isang value ng variable mo, yung nakuha mo, isa substitute mo ngayon dun sa original equation. Sa isa, kahit isa lang dun. Para makuha mo yung value ng isang variable. And then, the last step, do not forget to check. So, always check your solution in both original equations. Okay. Now, 
kapag meron ka ng additive inverse, kasi pag sinabi nating elimination or eliminate, you need to have the additive inverse for you to eliminate. So, kung wala kang additive inverse, magmumultiply ka. Now, halimbawa, may additive inverse na. Anong gagawin? You may skip these steps. So, pwede mong skip tong dalawang to. So, kung meron ng additive inverse, proceed ka na agad sa step 3. Add na kagad. Kung wala pang additive inverse, gagawin mo pa muna tong step 1 and 2. Okay? Ano po ba ang additive inverse? Okay, ano po ba ang additive inverse? So, ito yung pinaka-importante. So, dapat uh, meron tayong uh, additive inverse para makapag-eliminate. Pag wala kang additive inverse, then you have to look for the additive inverse by multiplying the equation. Okay? So, pag sinabi nating additive inverse, ito yung pareho ang coefficient pero magkaibang sign. Okay, pag sinabing coefficient, yung number. Pero, magkaiba ang sign. Okay, so let's have an example. So, let's have an example. If I have here 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 and then 4x minus 3y is equal to 8. So, ang una mong titignan kapag binigyan ka ng system is identify mo muna kung merong additive inverse. Kasi yun ang i-eliminate natin. Kung wala, you need, to, uh, you need to have additive inverses. So, by multiplying. Okay? So, dito, pag nakita mo ay pareho ng coefficient tapos opposite sign. Therefore, ito yung additive inverse mo. Okay? Ito yung ating i-eliminate. Okay, next. So, dito, hahanapin mo ulit. So, ito yung inyong negative 2, ito positive 2. So, same coefficient, negative, positive, magkaiba ng sign. So, ito po ang additive inverses na tinutukoy. Okay? So, ito po yung i-eliminate mo. Next. So, I have 7x plus y is equal to 12. And then, 9x minus y is equal to 10. So, alin dito ang additive inverses? Ito po. Okay? Pag magkaiba sila ng sign, ano ang coefficient niyan? Paano siya naging pareho? Eh, wala namang number. Meron po siyang coefficient. Ang coefficient niyan ay positive 1. Ito po ay negative 1. Okay. Next. So, what if, ma'am, wala po siyang additive inverse? Ano po ang gagawin? Doon po natin gagawin yung step 2 na multiply. Okay. So, pipili ka ngayon nang kung anong gusto mong i-eliminate. So, if you choose to eliminate x, so, ito ang gusto mong i-eliminate. So, ang goal mo is, dapat magkaroon ka ng same coefficient. Okay? So, para magkaroon ka ng same coefficient, kung ako, ito gagamitin ko, then, para maging for ito, kagaya nito, anong gagawin ko? Ita times ko to saan? Okay, ita times natin siya by 2. Pero bakit negative 2 ang ginamit ko? Kasi pag tinimes mo lang siya sa 2, ang makukuha mo 2 times 2, 4. Positive 4. E di ba dapat opposite sign? So, tinimes natin siya sa negative 2 para maging negative 4. Okay? So, pag tinimes natin siya by negative 2, magiging 2 times negative 2, negative 4 siya ngayon. Negative 4x. Okay? Now, take note. Kapag nagmumultiply po tayo, dapat imumultiply po natin siya sa lahat ng terms. Hindi pwedeng dun lang sa gusto mong baguhin. Okay? So, imumultiply po natin siya sa lahat ng terms natin. So, negative 2 times 4, that is positive 8. Uh, negative 8y, kasi si different signs sila. And then, negative 2 times 6, that is negative 12. Okay? And then, this one, ita times pa ba natin? No na. Just copy. Okay, so as you can see, I have here negative 4x minus 8y is equal to negative 12. Ito na po yung nakuha natin from multiplying the equation, your first equation, by negative 2. Okay, so again ha, your goal is to have additive inverse. Okay, kailangan may additive inverse po tayo para makapag-eliminate. Pag wala kang additive inverse, wala kang may eliminate. Okay, so dito po, Nagkaroon na tayo ng same coefficient and then different signs. Isang negative, isang positive. So, meron na tayong additive inverse. Okay? Next, paano ma'am kung ang gusto kong i-eliminate ay si y? So, ito ang gusto mo. Then, isip ka ulit ng multiples ni 4 at ni 3. 
na magiging pareho sila. Saan sila magkakapareho? Sa 12, di ba? So, ito, para maging 12, ita times ko to by 3. Okay? So, take note ha. Ita times po natin siya sa lahat ng terms. Okay? So, 2x times 3, that is 6x. And then, 4 times 3, that is 12y. 6 times 3, that is 18. Next, ito naman, ita times ko siya by 4 para mag 12 din. Para magkaroon ako ng pareho. Okay? Parehong coefficient. Now, ang question, ma'am, bakit po dito hindi siya negative o alin man sa kanila walang negative? Hindi mo na kailangan lagyan ng negative dito. Bakit? Kasi po, magkaiba na dito ng sign. Okay? So, since magkaiba na siya ng sign, itimes mo na lang siya sa positive integer. Hindi kagaya nito na since pareho silang positive, ang ginamit kong multiplier ay negative 2 para mag maging opposite sila. Okay? So, itimes na natin. So, 4 times 4x, that is 16x. Negative 3 times 4, negative 12y. 8 times 4, that is 32. So, we now have the additive inverse. Okay? So, meron na tayong ma-eliminate. So, ganito po ang gagawin kapag Uh, nasa, if you want to choose elimination method. So, kailangan meron kang additive inverse for you to eliminate. So, kapag given na po yung additive inverse, then madali na. Kapag hindi siya given, then that is the time that you're going to look for a multiplier para maging same sila nung isang equation. Okay? It's up to you if you want to eliminate x or y. Okay. So, let's have an example. So, I have here a system of x plus y is equal to 8 and then x minus y is equal to 2. So, this is your equation 1, this is your equation 2. Okay? So, since meron na tayo ditong additive inverse, then madali na lang. Meron tayong ma-eliminate. Okay? So, this is your equation 1, equation 2. So, since uh, meron tayong ma-eliminate, yun po ang makakancel natin. Okay, pag sinabi kasing eliminate, dapat meron tayong makancel na variable. So, makakancel na po natin siya. So, ang may iwan na lang is si x. Okay, so x and then i-add na natin 1 plus 1, that is 2x is equal to 8 plus 2, that is 10. So, by dividing both sides by 2, we now have cancel 2. So, x is equal to 2. 5. So, hindi na natin i-detalyado ito, no? Sanay na tayo na kapag nagsisolve tayo, ganito po. Okay? Now, anong susunod? Pag nakuha mo yung isang value, so, tapos na tayo sa step 4, no? Ito na yung step 4. Okay? Pag nakuha mo na yung isang value ng variable, step 4, ah, step 5, kukuha ka ng isa sa original equation. So, kuha tayo ng isa. So, I will be getting x plus y equals 8. So, ito ang gusto kong gamitin. Isa substitute mo ngayon yung nakuha mong value ni x dito. So, halimbawa, ang in-eliminate mo dito ay x. E di y ang isosolve mo, di ba? So, y ang magiging sagot mo dito. Ang isa substitute mo naman yung y dito. Okay? So, depende yan. Minsan, y ang kinukuha. Kasi depende yan sa in-eliminate mo. Okay, now. So, we have x plus y is equal to 8. So, since nakuha natin si x is equal to 5, isa substitute ko dito si 5 sa x. Okay? So, by APE, so mapupunta siya dito. So, we have y is equal to 8 minus 5. Okay? So, y is equal to 3. So, we now have the value of x which is 5 and then the value of y which is 3. So, therefore, the solution is x is equal to 5 And y is equal to 3. So, therefore, the ordered pair is 5, 3. So, ito ngayon ang solution natin. But, we have to check. Okay? So, yung step 6 natin, we have to check. Hindi pwedeng pag nakuha mo na sa x at y, okay na. Okay? So, check natin. So, the solution is 5. Uh, the solution is x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3 or 5, 3. So, kunin natin yung ating first equation at second equation. Ang gagawin natin dito, yung original ha, ang gagawin natin is isa-substitute natin yung 5 sa x at 3 sa y. So, lagay natin siya dito. So, yung x mo is 5, yung y mo is 3. 
So, kapag nag-equal sila dito, then our solution for equation 1 is correct. Okay? So, 5 plus 3, that is 8, which is equal to 8. And this is correct. Okay? So, since this is correct, therefore, it satisfy your first equation. Now, let us check your equation 2. Dapat kasi mag-satisfy siya sa dalawang equation mo. Okay? So, equation 2, you have x minus y is equal to 2. So, substitute mo ulit yung x at y. So, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. And 5 minus 3, that is 2, is equal to 2. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? This is also... Equal. So, therefore, since 5, 3 satisfies both equations, then it is the solution to the system. So, we can say that 5, 3 is the solution of the given system. Bakit? Kasi chenek natin siya at lumabas ay true. Okay. So, we can also say that the system is consistent and the equations are independent and it has one solution. Now, uh, paano malalaman na kapag na-solve natin yung system of uh, linear equation na nakuha na natin yung solution, paano malalaman na consistent at independent? Kapag may nakuha kang value ni x at ni y, may unique solution siya, ibig sabihin that is consistent and independent. So, kapag may nakuha ka ang value ni x at ni y. Okay? So, later I will show you another example na wala, siyang, wala kang makukuhang x at y. Okay? So, kapag may nakuha ka, then that is consistent and the equations are independent. So, what is the graph kapag consistent and independent? Intersecting. Kasi it has one solution. Okay? Let's have another. So, I'll be showing you three different cases ha, of um, uh, systems. So, ito naman ngayon. So, in this example, the systems uh, do not have, um, tawag nito, yung additive inverse, right? So, ako, so sabi ko nga, pag wala kang additive inverse, you need to have that first bago ka makapag-eliminate. So, wala tayo ma-eliminate kasi walang additive inverses, Okay. So, pipili ka ngayon kung anong gusto mong eliminate. So, I'll be choosing x. Okay? So, kailangan magawa ko tong negative 3. Okay? So, I need to make this negative 3. Bakit negative 3? Same coefficient and then different signs. Okay? So, kailangan magawa ko tong negative 3. Okay? So, paano ko gagawin? Copy ko yung first equation kasi wala naman tayong gagalawin dyan. And then, your second equation, x minus 2y equals 2. Ito yon So, ita times ko siya by negative 3. Paano ko siya magagawang negative 3? Times ko siya by negative 3. Para pag times ko siya by negative 3, ang makukuha ko, negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Okay? And then, negative 3 times negative 2y, that is positive 6y. And then, 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. Ulitin ko ha, kapag nagmumultiply po tayo sa lahat ng terms, huwag kakalimutan yan kasi yan ang madalas na common error po natin. Okay? Nakakalimutan i-multiply sa ibang terms. So, i-multiply po natin siya sa lahat. So, ayan na po. So, we now have the additive inverses. So, meron na tayong additive inverse, may makakancel o may ma-eliminate na po tayo. Okay. So, may eliminate na siya. We now have 4y plus 6y. That is 10y. So, 4 minus 6, that is negative 2. So, divide both sides by 10. So, makakancel ito. Y is equal to negative 1 fifth. Bakit 1 fifth? Kasi pwede pa natin itong i-lowest term. Tama? Bakit negative? Kasi magkaiba po ng sign. So, negative 1 fifth. Now, anong sunod na step dito? Pag nakuha na natin yung isang value ng variable, kuha tayo ng isa sa original equation. So, syempre, pipiliin natin yung madali na. So, I'll be using x minus 2y equals 2. So, mas convenient ito, mas madali kaysa ito na andami, may coefficient pa. So, x minus 2y equals 2. Substitute natin yung nakuha natin first value ng variable dito sa y. So, magiging x minus 2 times negative 1 fifth is equal to 2. 
Okay. So, paano tayo mag-multiply ng um, fraction? Diba? Numerator, numerator, and then denominator, denominator. But since ang denominator naman natin dito ay 1, okay? Just copy 5. Okay. So, we will have 2 times 1, that is 2, and then copy 5. Bakit positive? Kasi same sign ito. Equals 2. So, now, by APE, so magiging minus 2 fifth na siya. So, minus 2 fifth or by transposition, lipat natin siya doon, magbabago ng sign. So, X is equal to 2 minus 2 fifth. Okay? So, X is equal to, paano natin ito isosolve? So, 5 times 2, 10 minus 2, that is 8. 5 times 2, 10 minus 2, that is 8. And then, copy the denominator. Okay, kung medyo nakalimutan na ang pag-solve ng fraction, meron po tayong video tutorial sa grade 7 on how to solve fractions. Add or subtract. Add similar and dissimilar fractions. So, pwede nyo po yung panoorin. Kasi hindi na natin masyadong i-discuss ito dahil um, another topic po iyon. Okay? So, we now have 8 over 5. So, therefore, sa checking natin, the solution is 8 over 5 and y is equal to negative 1 fifth. So, your ordered pair will be 8 fi over 5, negative 1 fifth. Now, tingnan mabuti ha. Baka masanay tayo na yung unang nakukuha natin laging x. Minsan, dyan tayo nagkakamali. Kaya, pagdating, pagdating sa checking, mali yung nasa substitute natin. Okay? So, take note po. Ito ay y, ito ay x. So, yung x mo ay 8 over 5, your y is negative 1 fifth. Okay, i-check natin siya dun sa original equation mo. Equation 1 and equation 2. Okay, so substitute natin si x which is 8 over 5 and then si y which is negative 1 fifth. Okay, so sa kagaya nga ng sabi ko dito, pag nag-multiply tayo ng fractions, numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. But since we do not have, uh, well, ang ito naman ay 1, so just copy your denominator. Okay. So, 3 times 8, that is 24 over 5. And then, 4 times 1, that is 4 over 5. Bakit minus? Different signs. Equals 4. So, similar fractions ito. Kapag similar fractions, add or subtract, then copy the denominator. So, 24 minus 4, that is 20 over 5 is equal to 4. So, 20 divided by 5, that is 4, is equal to 4. So, nag-satisfy siya dun sa ating first equation, they are equal. So, therefore, 8 over 5 and negative 1 fifth is the solution of your first equation. But take note, hindi lang dapat sa first equation, dapat pati sa equation 2, mag-satisfy siya. So, your x, ganun ulit, substitute natin yung x natin, which is 8 over 5. Minus 2, and then your y is negative 1 fifth, is equal to 2. So, multiplication ulit ito. So, we have 8 over 5, and then 2 times 1, that is 2 over 5. Okay. So, bakit positive? Kasi same sign ito. So, plus. Okay po. So, now... Since similar fraction ito, add lang natin yung numerator. So, 8 plus 2, that is 10. 10 over 5. And 10 divided by 5, that is 2, which is equal to 2. So, as you can see, we have a true equation. We have a true statement. Okay? So, it also satisfies your second equation. So, therefore, since 8, 5 negative 1 fifth satisfies both equations, then it is the solution to the system. So, what is your solution to the system? 8, 5, negative 1 fifth. Okay. So, since we have a unique solution, we have the value of x and y. So, the system is consistent and the equations are independent. And it has one solution. So, lagi pong ganun. Pag may nakuha kang value ni x at ni y variable, the system is consistent and the equations are independent. It has one solution. And the graph is intersecting. Okay, let's have the next one. So, I have here another case. Paano kapag pareho siyang fraction? Okay. So, I know medyo mahirap. 
medyo mahirap kapag nagsasolve tayo ng fraction. So, para madali, eliminate natin yung fraction. Okay, by, of course, you have to multiply it by the LCD. Okay, so what is the LCD? Ano ang LCD nito? We have 4. Okay, so kung nakalimutan na yung LCD, pwede nyo balikan yung rational natin, no? Meron dun um, kung paano kunin ng LCD. Okay, so the LCD is 4. Para matanggal natin itong fraction na to, para madaling mag-solve. Okay, so we have now, paano nga ulit ito? Paano gagawin kapag nag-LCD tayo? Divide natin, and then yung sagot, ita times natin sa numerator. Okay, so 4 divide 2, 2 times 1, so e x na lang po. I, uh, 4 divide 2, 2 times 1, so 2 times 1, that is 2x pala. And then 4 divided by 4, 1, 1 times 3, that is 3y. Bakit minus? Ito po siya, minus kasi to. Next, 4 divide 2, 2. 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2. Okay, so, uh, nawala na yung ating fraction. Let's have the second equation. So, what is the LCD? The LCD is 6. Okay, so 6 divided by 2. Your 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 1, that is 3y. Is equal to 6 divided by 6, that is 1. Times 1, that is just x na lang. Okay? Pero bakit negative? Kasi ito ay minus. Okay? And then, 6 divide 3, that is 2. 2 times 5, that is 10. So, negative 10. Okay? Now, so naayos na natin siya. Wala ng fraction. But take note, tingnan nyo po ito, hindi sila same form. Okay? So, yun po ang titingnan na. Hindi sila same form. Ito ay naka-standard. Ito ay naka-slope intercept. So, sabi ko nga sa umpisa natin na dapat po nasa same form sila. So, anong gagawin natin? Natin dito, ayusin muna natin. So, ito dapat nasa left side of the equation. So, magiging positive x siya. So, positive x plus 3y equals negative 10. Since nilipat na natin ito, magpa-positive na. Okay, so by APE or transposition, so it's up to you. Kung nasanay kang gumamit ng APE, APE. Kung yung uh, nililipat-lipat na lang transposition, pwede din naman. Okay, actually yun yung shortcut eh. Okay, so x plus 3y is equal to negative 10. So naayos na natin. So copy natin yung first equation, 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 2. At yung ating second equation, x plus 3y is equal to negative 10. Now, Meron ba tayong additive inverse? Kailangan pa ba nating mag-multiply? Hindi na po. Kasi meron na tayo ditong same coefficient, different signs. So, we can now eliminate y. Okay, so may eliminate natin si y ngayon. So, we now have 2 plus 1. May 1 po tayo dito. 2 plus 1, that is 3x, is equal to negative 2 plus negative 10, that is negative 12. So, divide both sides by... 3, so we can cancel 3, x is equal to negative 4. Okay, so negative 12 divided by 3, that is negative 4. So, kuha tayo ng isang equation. Pwede na ito. Okay, pwede na dito. Basta kapag checking, ang gagamitin mo yung original equation. Okay, so pwede na dito para hindi tayo mahirapan. So, x plus 3y is equal to negative 10. So, substitute natin dito si negative 4. So, nakuha natin si negative 4 as value for x. So, negative 4 plus 3y equals negative 10. So, we now have 3y is equal to negative 10. Okay, lipat natin to. So, magiging positive 4 na siya. So, 3y is equal to negative 10 plus 4. That is negative 6. By dividing both sides by 3, so we now have, cancel natin si 3, y is equal to negative Okay, so meron na tayong uh, value ni x at y. So, let's do the checking. So, the solution is x is equal to negative 4 and your y is negative 2. Or the ordered pair is negative 4, negative 2. Okay, let's do the checking. Your equation 1 and your equation 2. So, babalik ka dun sa original equation pag checking ha. So, substitute natin yung value ni x at ni y. So, nilagay lang natin si x na negative 4 at si y na negative 2. 
Okay. So, nag eto ulit. Multiplication ulit tayo ng fraction. So, paano gagawin? Numerator by numerator. And then, denominator by denominator. Or, pwede namang i-cancel mo na muna to. Tapos, tsaka mo i-times. Okay. Marami tayong paraan kung saan ka mas uh, nadadalian. Okay. So, eto. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 2. Ay, 2. That is negative 2. Okay? And then, 3 times 2, that is 6. 6 over 4. Okay po. Now, bakit nagpa-plus na to? Kasi same sign ito. Equals negative 1 half. Now, so kailangan, pag sinolve natin ito, mag-negative 1 half ito. Okay, so ito siya. So, negative 2 plus 6 over 4, solve natin. So, negative 2 times 4, that is negative 8. Butterfly method. Okay, cross multiply. Negative 2 times 4, that is negative 8. And then 6 times 1, that is 6. Okay, and then copy your denominator. So, negative 8 plus 6, that is negative 2 over 4. Now, we all know that negative 2 over 4 is also equivalent to negative 1 half. So, therefore, ito po ay negative 1 half. Okay, and as you can see, they are equal. Okay, so therefore, negative 4, negative 2 is a solution of your first equation. How about our second equation? So, substitute din natin si negative 2 sa y at si negative 4 sa x. Okay, so ganun ulit. Pwede mo na to i-cancel kasi pareho na siya, oh. So, negative 1 na lang ang matitira dyan. Tama? Equals, so, ito naman, 1 times 4, that is 4, and then copy your denominator, 6. Bakit nag-positive? Kasi same sign ito. Now, so, isolve natin ito. Dapat mag-equal siya sa negative 1 para mag-satisfy siya sa equation 2 natin. Okay. So, ito siya. 4 over 6 minus 5 over 3. So, four, cross multiply tayo. 4 times 3, that is 12. And then, 6 times 5, that is 30. Ulitin ko. 4 times 3, that is 12. 6 times 5, that is 30. So, ito po siya. And then, 6 times 3, 18. So, ito yung butterfly method, no? Cross multiplication. Now, so, 12 minus 30... 12 minus 30, that is negative 18. And then, copy your denominator, which is 18. So, negative 18 divided by 18, this is negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, ito po is equal to negative 1. So, as you can see, they are equal. And it satisfies your first, uh, your second equation. So, therefore... Since negative 4, negative 2 satisfies both equations, then it is the solution to the system. So, ibig sabihin, itong ordered pair na to ay solution ng system mo. Kasi dapat mag-satisfy siya pareho. Pag dito lang siya nag-satisfy, hindi yung solution. Kailangan pareho. Okay? So, kapag nag-equal sila both equations, nag-satisfy po, ibig sabihin, Ito po ang solution natin. So, therefore, meron tayong unique value ni x at ni y. So, ibig sabihin, anong system siya? The system is consistent and the equations are independent. It has one solution. Okay. So, yun po ang tatandaan. Kapag meron siyang unique value ni x at y, meron, siyang, uh, na, meron kang nakuha, ibig sabihin, the system is consistent and independent. So, dyan natin malalaman. Okay? And the graph is intersecting. Okay, let's have the next one. So, I have here 4x minus y is equal to 2. And then, negative 12x plus 3y is equal to 4. Okay? So, this is your first equation. Equation 1, equation 2. So, uh, wala tayong additive inverse. So, we need to, so, I'll be eliminating y. So, ako, kukunin ko y kasi ito medyo, um, ano to. So, ito, pwede rin naman, i-times mo to sa 3. Okay? Or pwede rin ito. So, ito ang gagamitin ko. Okay? So, kailangan magawa ko siyang 3. Okay? So, ita-times ko siya by positive 3. Positive 3 na kasi may negative na siya doon. So, magiging ano siya? Magiging 3 times 4x, 12x. 3 times negative y, negative 3y, 2 times 3, that is 6. 
Paalala po ah, lagi po nating itatime sa lahat ng terms. And then just copy your second equation. So negative 12x plus 3y is equal to 4. So we can now eliminate since we now have the additive inverse. But, tingnan nyo mabuti. Ma-eliminate din natin yung x bukod sa y. Okay? So, bakit na-eliminate natin sa x? Kasi same coefficient din, tapos opposite sign. So, as you can see, since na-eliminate natin yung dalawang variable, wala tayong masusolve na variable. Okay? So, that will become 0. 0, and then sa right side of the equation, 6 plus 4, that is equal to 10. Now, is 0 equal to 10? No. Okay? Obviously, 0 is not equal to 10. So, this is a false equation. Okay? So, kapag tatandaan, if both variables are eliminated, pag na-eliminate yung dalawang variables mo, at nag-result siya sa false equation, then, we can say that the system is inconsistent. Ano ibig sabihin ng inconsistent? It has no solution. And the graph is parallel. Okay? So, kanina, sa mga previous examples natin, puro ano siya, no? Puro may value ni x at y. Kaya, consistent and independent lahat yon Lahat yon intersecting. But this time, na-eliminate yung dalawang variables mo. Tapos, ang lumabas dito, false equation. Because, bakit false? Kasi 0 is not equal to 10. Okay? So, kapag ganyan po ang lumabas, na-eliminate yung dalawang variables at nag-result sa false equation, then the system is inconsistent. It has no solution and the graph is parallel. Okay, next. I have 6x minus 3y is equal to negative 9 and then y is equal to 2x plus 3. So, dito naman, yung isa nating equation ay hindi pareho dun sa una. So, ayusin muna natin. So, di, lagay natin siya dito sa left side of the equation. So, magiging negative 2x. Negative 2x plus y is equal to 3. Now, dito sa dalawang equation natin, meron ba tayong additive inverse? Wala po. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan pa nating i-multiply ito, yung second equation natin, saan natin siya i-multiply? By... Para maging kapareho niya ng coefficient, by 3. Okay, very good. So, kung by 3, so magiging 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6x. And then, 3 times y, that is 3y. 3 times 3, that is 9. Ulitin ko ha, lagi po natin multiply sa lahat ng terms. Now, so meron na tayong additive inverse, na pareho na siya ng coefficient. But, tingnan ulit, may eliminate din natin yung x. Okay? So, kagaya nito, na-eliminate din yung dalawang variables. So, this is 0. Pero, kung titingnan natin sa right side of the equation, negative 9 plus 9, 0 din. Okay? Na-eliminate man yung dalawang variables natin, pero nag-result naman siya sa true equation. Bakit? Kasi 0 is equal to 0. Hindi kagaya nito, 0 is equal to 10. So, kapag true equation... If both variables are eliminated at nag-result siya sa true equation, the system is inconsistent and the equations are dependent. Okay? It has infinitely many solutions. Okay? Ano ang equation na ano ang solution natin dyan? Its solution set is x, y such that negative 2x plus y is equal to 3. So, ulitin ko. Yung mga previous examples natin kanina, meron tayong nakukuha na value ni x at ni y. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang unique solution. Kaya, inconsistent, ay, yeah, tama, consistent and independent siya. Intersecting ang graph. Okay? Again, consistent and independent. Kaya, ang graph nun, intersecting. Okay. So, dun mo malalaman eh, pag may value kang nakuha ni x at y. Now, in this given example, so, kapag pareho siyang na-eliminate, tama? Parehong na-eliminate yung x at y variable natin. Hindi tayo nakapag-solve ng x at y. Pero, ang pagkakaiba nila, kapag nag-result siya sa false equation, inconsistent. Pag nag-result siya sa true equation, kasi 0 is equal to 0, 
inconsistent dependent. Okay? Ay, by the way, it should be consistent. Okay. So, ulitin ko ha. Okay. So, ulitin ko po. It should be uh, consistent. Okay? So, ang makukuha po natin kapag nag-true equation ka, uh, the system is consistent and dependent. So, yun po ang tatandaan. Okay? So, yun lang po. Paano malalaman na consistent, inconsistent? So, kapag lumabas false equation, na-eliminate yung dalawang variable, inconsistent. Pag lumabas ay uh, true equation at ang true equation at na-eliminate yung dalawang variables, consistent and dependent. So, ito po ay coinciding. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.